Max was born on December 11th of 1882 in Breslau, Germany, which is now current day Roklaw, Poland, and died on January 5th of 1970 in Gottingen, Germany. Max was born into a Jewish family. His mother, Margaret Kaufman, died when he was only four years old. Gustav Victor Rudolf Born, Max's father, then appointed a governess to look after Max and his younger sister Kathy until he married again four years later. Max was a German physicist who played a vital role in the evolution of quantum mechanics. What is quantum mechanics? I'm so glad you asked. It's the branch that deals with the mathematical description of the motion and interaction of subatomic particles. This theory incorporates the concepts of quantization of energy, wave-particle duality, the uncertainty principle, and the correspondence principle. In other words, it's the theory of the structure and the behavior of atoms and molecules. You see, in Bohr's theory of the atom, the electrons absorb and emit radiation of fixed wavelengths when jumping between the fixed orbits around a nucleus. The theory gave a good description of the spectrum from the hydrogen atom, but must be further developed for more complicated atoms and molecules. Following Heisenberg's work, around 1925, Max contributed to the development of quantum mechanics. He showed that Schrodinger's wave equation could be interpreted as giving statistical predictions of variables instead of exact. Due to his extensive research in this field, he was given the nickname the father of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics does not deserve its fearsome reputation. Let's try and break it down a little bit like Max did to make it more understandable. The weird effects that show up in quantum mechanics are due to the wave nature of the world making itself more apparent. An example of this in everyday life would be light shining through the cracks of a door. It looks like the sunlight is made of particles moving in straight lines, but in reality, you don't need the particles to describe what's happening here. The gaps in the door are very large compared to the wavelength of the light. The waves will proceed in a straight line due to interference effects. Max Born studied extensively at the University of Zurich, University of Roklaw, University of Heidelberg, and the University of Göttingen. In 1915, Max was given the extraordinary opportunity to assist Max Planck at Berlin University. However, Max had to be enlisted to join the German Armed Forces. Max was allowed to work on the theory of sound ranging in the Army's scientific office. Also, Max managed to find time to study the theory of crystals. He even wrote a book called The Dynamics of Crystal Lattices. This book included a series of his investigations that he performed while at Göttingen. In 1919, after the First World War, Born was appointed professor at the University of Frankfurt on Main, where he had a well-equipped lab at his disposal. He remained there and worked on several experiments which led him to winning the Nobel Prize. Born shared the 1954 Nobel Prize for Physics with Walter Both for his statistical interpretation of the quantum theory. His first outstanding achievement in physics came in 1912 when he worked in collaboration with T. von Karman. They worked out the theoretical explanation of the whole range of the variation of specific heat in solids. Although the official credit for this major feature went to Peter Debye, who independently did the same work a few weeks earlier, the topic became decisive in Born's future work as a physicist. In 1933, his studies were unfortunately interrupted due to the war in Germany. He was inducted for the one-year compulsory military service. However, due to his asthmatic condition, he was granted an early dismissal by receiving a letter of discharge from Adolf Hitler in 1934. The letter was from the educational ministry, which meant Max could continue his studies on quantum mechanics and flee to Cambridge. While in Cambridge, Max studied under Lamar and J.J. Thompson. Like many other German scientists, Max was forced to emigrate in 1933 and was invited to Cambridge where he taught for three years as Stokes lecturer. His main area of work during this period dealt with nonlinear electrodynamics, which he developed in collaboration with Enfeld. Later, he found himself at the University of Edinburgh. There, he was a professor of physics for 17 years. The family's private archives are housed there. 
the archives consist of 27 boxes filled with all the family's extraordinary studies in the field of quantum mechanics. Two very inspirational quotes from Max Born are, There are two objectionable types of believers, those who believe the incredible and those who believe that belief must be discarded and replaced by the scientific method. Another, and his most arguably famous one, is intellect distinguishes between the possible and the impossible. Reason distinguishes between the sensible and the senseless. Even the possible can be senseless.